Hi guys, I'm Claire from ClaireMatthews.com. Today we're going to be making this cute card which can be used for either Valentine's Day or an anniversary. Um, the stamp we're using is by Lily of the Valley. It's called James with Big Heart. It's still available on the website now, so if you head over there you'll be able to buy it. Okay, so we're going to start with our card base. It's a pre-made card base um, from Craftwork Cards. We're just going to fold it in half and unfold the edge. The next piece you need is a piece of red cardstock, which I've cut down to 14 and a half by 14 and a half square. We're just going to stick that on the front. Okay, on top of that we're putting a piece of pink cardstock, which I've actually pre-embossed using this embossing folder which is a large 8x8 folder um, by Crafters Companion, it's one of their textures ones. So I'm going to stick that down. Be careful as you put your glue on the back and your tape on the back not to press too hard, you don't want to flatten out all that embossing that we've done. Okay, the next step is to put on our decorative edge. I've already die cut my, my white square. It's a die here by, I think it's Tonic Studios. I'll double check for you and link it below. Now we're not going to flat stick that, we're actually going to stick it onto um, a piece of card. You could use foam pads, but I've actually got into the habit of using um, just an old piece of card or a bit of cereal box card just to raise it up off of so it's not flat. Pop that on the back. Tape on the back of there. And then pop that nice and central on your card. Okay, next we can put that to one side, we're going to work on our stamped image now. So I've got a small piece of white cardstock that I've cut down to 9cm by 9cm. We're going to emboss Air Bear on there um, using Versamark ink pad. I've got my stamp already mounted, coupled with Versamark. Oh, almost forgot, you need to go over it with your embossing buddy first to get rid of the static. I'm going to stamp air bear. We want him slightly towards the left hand side. Give it a good press down. And then we're going to cover that with black embossing powder. scrap piece of paper. Okay, shake off the excess. Hopefully there's none stuck where you don't want it to be. But if there is, just use a dry brush to get rid of any bits that shouldn't be there. Okay, now you want to go ahead and heat set that using a heat gun. For a moment to cool and tidy up my embossing powder. Okay, 
Okay, next thing you're going to do is colour in your image. I'm just going to do some super simple colouring today. I'm just using my Prismacolor pencils, nothing too fancy. Just going all over with the brown. Really, really quick. You can see I'm not taking any time at all to do this. Adding some darker brown where you want the shading to be. Again, I'm not taking any time at all to do this. We're going to blend it all out in a minute and it comes together really well. Okay, and lastly adding a tiny bit of green under his feet for the ground. Oh, almost forgot, we need some red for the rose. Okay, so to blend that out we're using the Sansador um, liquid. I've got a big blending stump here. And as you can see, it blends really, really easily. Be careful not to go over your black embossing too much. It will smudge if you go over and over it a lot. Quite quick, quite careful. You can get a good effect. Blend that grass out a little bit and a tiny bit of blending on the rose and that's good enough for me. Okay, what you're going to do next is cut out the heart. This is where the shaker part of our card is going to be. So I'm just going to make a big cross through the middle which makes it easy for us to to get our scissors in there. Okay, and I'll put you on pause for a minute just while I cut that out. Okay, as you can see, I've cut out the heart. I'm just gonna go around the edge with a black pen. Oh, wrong side, want the fat side of a pen. Go around the inside edge just to get rid of that white line so it looks a bit ne neater from the front. done that. You're going to pop some tape on the back and then I've got a little piece of acetate cut to about seven and a half by seven and a half square. I'm just going to stick that down. Okay, next we're going to stick another piece of cardboard. You could go around the edge here with foam pads, but as I said, I prefer my cardboard or chipboard. Um, so I need to pop this on the back, but obviously I need the heart part cut out. So I'm going to slip into here the heart that I just cut from the middle of here, pop it in the right position, roughly draw around the edge, very roughly and then that gives me where I need to cut that out. And if you use foam pads here you won't get as good a finish. I do find that this gives you a better finish and it means that your sequins or are we using hearts on this card, we're using little paper hearts, will stay in a better position. Okay, so you can see my image on the top lines up over there like so and we're going to stick that down. Mm. 
Okay. Next thing to do is to cut your little hearts to fill the middle. These little hearts. I've used a die. I think it's from Memory Box. Just a heart die that I've got. I've gone ahead and pre-cut some pre-die cut some red hearts. These are all the little hearts that come out of there. I'm going to turn my image over and pop those in. On top of that, we're going to stick our piece of patterned paper. So I'm using just a striped piece of patterned paper. It's an old basic grey paper that I've had for ages. That's going to be stuck on there. Needs trimming down just a tiny bit, as you can see. So I'll quickly trim that down. And then again, come with some scotch tape. And then stick a stripe down. Okay, this all looks a little bit messy at the moment, but it does come together well. Oh, lost one of my little hearts, never mind. Okay, okay, so now we've finished our shaker part of our card. The hearts don't shake that much, but they do They do move around. Okay, you want to mount this whole piece on top of another red piece of cardstock. This piece is cut to nine and a half by nine and a half. I'm just gonna flat stick that on there. And some more scotch tape on the back. Stick that onto our card. Nice and central. And then finish off by adding these three little gems here. seems to have disappeared. Okay, and that's your finished card. Super simple, easy, quick shaker card. Really, really nice. Thank you for watching. Hope you come back for another video. Bye.